Yo, what's happening? It's Mikey. If you are interested in making a podcast, I cannot recommend Spotify for Podcasters enough. Dude, it is so freaking easy. Seriously, Spotify for Podcasters lets you create and then distribute your podcast, and you can even earn money from it, man. And you don't need any fancy equipment. Spotify for Podcasters lets you record and edit your podcast right from your phone or your computer, so no matter what your setup is like, you can just start creating today. And you can do video podcasts, too, like I do. Just download the Spotify for Podcasters app or go to Spotify.com slash podcasters to get started today all sites please stand by channel one communication switching to channel one all right here it comes be ready switch controls to manual override awaiting confirmation of the video feed countdown is running at five four three two one the mikey podcast Yo, and welcome back to another captivating episode of the award-winning Mikey podcast, a satirical take on news, <laughs> live current events, and more. This is day eight of 31 podcasts in 31 days. And as a reminder, if you're a subscriber, you can watch this podcast. Like this, These come with videos but for subscribers only. So you get a video podcast exclusively on Spotify, plus you've, as a subscriber, you've unlocked uh, some other exclusive content that's only available to you, and it's all over on Spotify. So if you want to get access to that stuff, make sure you set, just head on over there uh, or subscribe. You can subscribe at the link in the description or go to MikeyPodcast.com. Just wanted to throw that out there. Freeloaders, you're getting this podcast uh, for free, the video version or the audio version available wherever you get your podcast. So this morning while I was trying to to come up with a topic for today's show, uh, I was in my garage hitting on my uh, Cherry Tree THC pen, a vape pen that I got from Higher Elevation, higherelevation.com, by the way. You can save 20% with promo code Mikey. I love those guys. I appreciate their support and continued support of the show. So thank you for that. Make sure you're, you know, you make sure you support them as well. Support those that support the show. But I was struggling to come up with uh, like an idea or some content for what today's show was going to be about. And I told you no matter what. I was going to do a podcast every single day this month, even if it's only for a few minutes. Like, even if I only got to jump on for 10 minutes, you're going to get a podcast. You're going to get something. Okay, I will. I promise you. But just keep in mind, because I have a life to live. I got things I got to do. I got shit. I gotta, it's kind of hard to get all this shit done. But I like the challenge. You know, it keeps me motivated. It makes me, you know, I like to challenge myself for shit like that. I told you this at the beginning of this goddamn thing. This is why I'm kind of why I'm doing it. And I'm not really actually sure what the reason totally is for this. Or why I even decided to do it. But I think at the end of all of it, you know, there's a, there's a few things that, that could come out of this. One, you know, I might have some great material, some great demo material, which would be fucking cool. Maybe some radio person or a podcast company. Uh, maybe they'll hear it and they want to sign me to an exclusive deal. So, hey, if you're listening, I'm available and I'm open to talk. Or, and this is the one that I really, really want, is that I'm able to turn this, uh, turn all of you freeloaders into subscribers this could become my full-time job that I believe that is that is the ultimate goal and I truly believe can and will happen but that's entirely up to you uh if nothing comes comes of this then maybe I wasted hours and hours and hours of my life maybe I wasted an entire month of my life but who knows we'll see I don't think that that's going to be the case but if I can turn you freeloaders into subscribers then I can continue to live right here in a beautiful state of California and do this podcast every single day California I know you might be like, in California, what the fuck? California sucks. Why would you want to stay there? Especially people that don't California. even live here. California. California, you don't have to interrupt me like that. What the hell? Just calm down. It's not, is that going to happen every single time? California. Here we go again with this. Every single time I say California. California. Okay. That's fine. That's fine. Well, let me let you in on a little secret about why I want to stay here in California. California. It's because I can't move. Like I can't, I have a child that, that I need, that, that I cannot and will not leave. Okay. I have to protect my child's mind and keep her light shining because there's people and, 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 and the world around her that is trying to dim her light. Okay. I'm not going to get into a whole bunch of details about that, uh, but if I have to throw away a 25 year career and become a garbage man or whatever, in order to make sure my daughter's light never goes out, then so be it. I will, uh, even though I have no idea how to do anything else. Like all I know how to do is, is radio and podcasting and creating social media content. That's it. But I'll figure something out, I guess. But I really love to be able to continue to create content and entertain you because that's all I know. That's it. 
It really, California is all I know. California. Yeah, I've, I've lived here for so, so goddamn long that it's like, I mean, I've become a Californian. You know, let's talk about California for a minute. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's definitely one of the greatest songs of all time. Dr. Dre and Tupac. When this song came out, I was in Ohio. I was in Parma, Ohio. Like, yeah, California. They know how to party in California. Like, I knew any fucking thing about California living in the Midwest, living in Ohio. But people do love California, man. A lot of people love it here. And I do. I did. I still kind of do, you know what I mean? But it also, you know, I kind of hate it for reasons. And and people people who don't live here, like I said, you're like, what the fuck are you talking about, man? You actually you actually like people love California? People like it. People like California. California. Yeah. They actually do. They're like, isn't that the place where crazy rent is crazy high and there's terrible traffic and the and constant threat of natural disasters? Well, yeah. But it's all about how you spin it. You know what I mean? Let, let's let, let's start with the high rent. Some people might see that as a drawback. But think about it this way. If you can afford to live in California, you must be doing something, right? Right? Maybe? I don't know. Or maybe you're stuck here like some people. <clears throat> Me. Or even if you can't afford it, just by living here, you kind of look like you can afford it. Maybe? No? Unless you're homeless, then... Then you just get everything handed to you. Also, all that extra money you're paying for rent, it puts you in really cool places where you could buy like avocado toast and, and acai bowls at trendy brunch spots. And who doesn't love overpriced burnt bread served to you by a person with a liberal arts degree and a snobby attitude? Come on now. And speaking of trendy snobs, just imagine of all the Instagram followers you'll get j just from living in such a fashionable state. Not to mention... All the really cool food and ocean pictures you can take and share with people who live in the dreaded Midwest. Ugh. Who the fuck wants to live there? That's a sh That place is a shithole. I've lived there. Trust me. Just a quick comparison. In California, we have In-N-Out Burger, which is a fast food chain with a cult following that isn't the best, but it is what it is. It's better than what the Midwest has. Midwest, they have to settle for McDonald's, which is basically just a place that sells sadness in a bun. In California, we have the Pacific Ocean. You can surf and swim. You can catch waves. In the Midwest, they have the fucking Great Lakes where you're base. It's basically just a gigantic puddle that's only good for throwing rocks and catching dysentery. In California, we have the Hollywood Hills where all the celebrities like to live and party. In the Midwest, they have cornfields where scarecrows go to die. So just living here will make you the envy of everyone who is stupid. What about the traffic? You know, people like to complain about the traffic in California. Yeah, sure. Okay. So it might take you fucking two hours to go 20 minutes, but that's just because there's so much to see and do in California. You have plenty of time to catch up on the latest episodes of the award-winning Mikey podcast, or you can just sit there and contemplate life for a little bit. If you get really fucking bored, you can always play a game that I like to play. It's called count how many Teslas you see. It's never ending fun. As for the natural disasters, well, that's just a fact of life, okay? But at least in California, you'll always have something to talk about at parties. Oh, you had a hurricane? That's cute. I had a wildfire that burned down my house. Can you pass the hors d'oeuvres? That's assuming you can even afford to even go to fucking parties. The cost of living is through the roof. But at least you'll be living in the most expensive state in the country, and that's something to brag about, right? No? Maybe? I don't know. Okay, yeah, sure. The earthquakes might rattle your house a little bit and shake your nerves. But if you're like me, you just kind of look at that as a natural form of exercise. It's going to shake you. That's good. Plus, it's a great excuse to use those emergency supplies you've been hoarding since the beginning of the pandemic. You know what else I hear? I hear a lot of people that like to complain about the air pollution in California. Or, or that they, you know, that yeah, so, okay, fine. Fuck, it might be a little bit hard to breathe. Who cares? At least you'll have a great tan from all that smog. Or maybe lung cancer. Either way, you'll look fabulous. But the water shortages might mean you have to take shorter showers and, and you know, let your lawn die. But think of all the money you'll save on your water bill. Like, there's a plus right fucking there. Plus, fucking cutting grass. Fuck that shit, man. It's too hot to be cutting grass here any goddamn way. And, hey, brown is the new green, from what they say. Orange is the new black. Brown is the new green. 43 is the new 23. It's all the same. And one last thing real quick. 
Yeah, I, I understand the political climate. That's the, that's probably one of the biggest complaints some people have. It might be a little tense. You know, all the protests, divisive issues. But at least you'll never be bored. There's always so there's always something to march about, rally about, argue about. There's always something to do. It's better than playing a game of find the least flat surface in the state and just staring off in the horizon, wondering if you'll ever see anything other than the sun and the fucking grass again. Listen, sorry, I lived in Ohio for a really, really long time, and I'm still a little bit traumatized by it. So sure. California might have its fair share of problems, but that's just part of the fucking charm. California. <laughs> sorry. I just like I just like playing little clips of audio. I think about it, like the Golden Gate Bridge, man. That thing is fucking charming. It's one of the most iconic landmarks in the world. What does the Midwest have? The St. Louis Gateway Arch. Just basically a gigantic fucking metal toothpick. So if you can handle high rent, traffic, natural disasters, expensive cost of living, earthquakes, air pollution, water shortages, and political tension, then California is the place you ought to be. So load up the truck and move to Beverly. Just remember to bring uh, your sense of humor and a pair of fucking boots because you're going to need them because you might step in poop because you can literally poop wherever you want to on the streets in California. That is not a joke. It's like a third world country. <laughs> I'm, so, I know, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I know. One more time. Oh, this, is good. California, this is all reasons to love California. Yeah. California love. Can't be mad. Come on. Don't be jealous. It's not that bad. Yes, it is what I'm talking about. But if you are considering, actually, if you live here in California and you are considering moving out of the state, might I recommend checking out episode 19 of the award-winning podcast, my top five states to consider moving to. It is very informative. It's fascinating stuff. It's my own. It's, it's, uh, it's just reasons why I'd want to live in other states. But you might like it too. I don't know. Check it out. Like I said, episode 19. Uh, I'll link to it in the description. Don't forget to subscribe if you can. Leave a five-star rating and leave a review if you want. That'd be fucking dope too. Have a great day. I'll be back tomorrow with day nine of 31 podcasts in 31 days. See ya. The Mikey Podcast.